And we're rolling. Hi, I'm Ron. It's time for a bedtime video. You want a bedtime story? Here we go. LSD, closing your third eye, and getting a good night's sleep. And that's what we're going to be all about right now. So let's start with, this is the reason I'm making the bedtime video, because I didn't want to leave this person up a crick without dealing with this issue, because this one, we can help you out. So this comes from the viewer, not to be mentioned, and it reads, uh, I had a bad trip on LSD about two months ago, and I fee uh, I've been feeling really bad. And I feel like it opened up my third eye. And I've asked for forgiveness so much. It was my first time, by the way. I like that glare on my glasses. Anyhow. All right. Dude or dude up. Uh, you're going to be okay. So let's break this guy down for you. Uh, I had a bad trip on LSD. Sorry about that. Uh, two months ago, I felt... I've been feeling really bad. All right. First off, um, I'm going to just throw it all at you real fast. Stop doing drugs. Not trying to be hating, but cut it out. Your body's going to repair itself. Then, uh, I'm sure you've already done that. So, uh, then, get sleep, eat right, exercise, be around the right people, places, and things. Places, church. Find a good church that's loving. Get the word of God into you. things. The word of God. Basically, it's saying you're forgiven. Deal okay, with Okay, so you've been feeling bad. Uh, okay, I'll get in the side. Have people lay hands on you. People you tr know and trust. Uh, there's an impartation. And you don't have to do this. These are just the things that help us out. Uh, if you have not yet been baptized, uh, it's Acts 2.38, repent and be baptized for the remission of your sin and you will receive the Holy Spirit. That's an important one because that will kick out any kind of spiritual critter that you don't like. And as far as opening your third eye, the reason for this gig, if it is a demon, uh, demons happen to everybody, saved and unsaved. Um, demons are nothing but Part of Satan's crew talking yes. to us. And when we do drugs and other things, it opens up the doors to these entities. And not hating. I've done it. Not proud, but I'm going to use my trash to help you out. So what it is, is you you repent. That is a changing of your mind. Hey, this is wrong. I'm sorry. Boom. You plead the blood of Jesus over your sin. And that shuts the door. Then you can actually talk to this thing like if it's over here because i've had stuff like that happen to me you simply go in the name of jesus i bind and rebuke any and all unclean spirits and i command you to leave i break my agreement with you forgive me for my sins lord and i command these in your name i command these things to go and i receive your holy spirit i receive your love i receive your presence and any and all other spirits, I break up with you in Jesus' name, get out. And they understand that Jesus whooped them because that's the way it really is. You go gospel on these things. And if it doesn't leave immediately, it doesn't mean you're bad. It just, it's like washing your hands. Sometimes it takes a little time to get rid of them. You will be free. Of Romans this. 8, especially, because. You know, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Stop condemning yourself. God's voice is love. If it ain't love, you're allowed to say no. You're going to be okay. You're just learning some basic spiritual warfare. You know, if there's a demon around you, tell it to shut up and get out in Jesus' name. If we've messed up, we learn that the cross is our ticket out. Not that it's a something that we abuse, but really it's a tool to be used to get us into the presence of God because it is our acquittal from all judgment and not it just acquittal it's uh it expunges our record makes us clean so we're able to get in the presence of God get in the presence of God and know that he loves you stay there until you feel absolutely happy and then when you feel absolutely happy stay there even longer this ought to give you something to 
you know, to fight with. If anyone else has any questions or comments, please feel feel free to leave them. End of the bedtime stories. And so close that third eye, go to sleep, be happy, and catch you next time. Bye.